The Ministry of Health and Wellness is looking to make good on gains made over the last month in the fight against COVID-19. The national vaccination campaign is in full swing and the curve of infection from the third wave has flattened. There is a renewed focus to avoid another surge following a holiday observance. As of 13th March, 18,488 residents in St. Lucia have received their first dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George is elated by the progress made in the journey to herd immunity, however, stressed the importance of continued adherence to the protocols. COVID 19 continues to loom over the population following the island's third wave at the start of 2021. Active cases registered at 14th March stood at 203. We still have too many active cases within the community. We still have over 100 active cases within the community. And a lot of our risks for introduction are still there. So the, the vaccine, it really um, provides a light in the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel. Um, it is one of the most cost-effective public health um, measures. So we're extremely grateful to have it available to, to the public and we will continue to appeal to the public, like Nurse Shabati said, to take the vaccine. However, um, we have received just the first, most of our persons who have taken the vaccine is only the first dose that they have received so far. So it is important and I will continue to appeal to the public that we continue to maintain the, the measures that are in place. Dr. George was speaking during the COVID-19 year in review broadcast of the NTN on the weekend. In retrospect, she admits that the post-holiday case surge in January might have been avoided had it been managed differently. When I think back, we should have limited the number of persons who came in or, or keep everyone within an institutional quarantine because persons coming in during the Christmas season, which traditionally we know is a time of festivities where there's a lot of family um, activity happening, a lot of community activity happening. And it did contribute significantly to our third wave, which we saw um, to ask persons to come in realistically during the Christmas time and to think that they were going to stay home for 14 days. It, it, it was not realistic. Lessons for the future. Officials are taking precautions for the next holiday observance. An extended curfew is among restrictions for the upcoming Easter weekend. From 2nd to 5th April, it will run from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy reminds the public. Coming into the Easter, Easter um, weekend, actually this, um, the curfew would be brought back to to 7, 7 p.m. and we were expecting that everyone would observe the protocols and one of the um, protocols being that there should be no um, socializing, there should be no beach parties, no um, river, river line, no dances and so on. Um, we no loud music permit. We are not ready for that yet and social events are not approved, mass crowd events are not approved. So we want a level of responsible behavior. The police cannot be everywhere and in every community. So we really want at the level of the community that we make responsible choices for our safety at this point.